when is the best time to put your home on the market? Hey everyone, it's Nate McLean, owner of the Nate McLean Real Estate Group. And in order to understand or know when the best time to put your home on the market is during the year, you have to understand the law of supply and demand. See, as a homeowner, what matters most is what the competition's like, how much inventory is out there, because that's what you're going to have to be competing against. So one way to look at it is to look at what's in the marketplace that's like your home right now, but also you need to know what's coming on the marketplace. And I could tell you something that I'm seeing. I've seen a major increase in ramping up of new construction in all of the marketplaces that we work. Leavenworth, Chelan, Wenatchee, Okanagan County, Grant County, Moses Lake, and Kittitas. There's a massive amount of new construction. Why? Why? Because there's money to be made. Builders are confident to build homes because prices are way up. See, lumber prices went skyrocketed, but they're back down. They're affordable to build. The margins are there for, for builders and they're really coming in full force. So I don't know if it's a good time for you to sell your home, but I can tell you this, that the more new construction that comes on the market is going to make it harder for you to sell your home or to achieve the price you deserve. So you might be sitting on a ton of equity right now, but that equity may be going to someone else, like a builder in the future. See, I know this about buyers. Buyers will choose a smaller home in a lesser neighborhood for new for new. Think about it. There's a bias, a cognitive bias when it comes to having something new versus old, right? I don't know what it, what it is, but if you're looking for a car, you probably want a new car over an older car. Now, we know that that's not always the case, that the quality of car, the condition of the car matters a lot, but new means new condition. And here's what they, they have, new construction has over you. They have new energy codes, now, new energy codes are more efficient. Buyers are conscious about this. Where are buyers coming from? Buyers are coming from out of the area. A lot of them, Seattle, Bellevue, Redmond, California, Arizona, they are concerned with their overall costs. A lot of them are retiring, relocating. And so they're on a fixed income or fixed retirement, right? And they want to make sure that their energy costs are affordable long-term. And they're going to do that based on the energy codes. They're also going to want to have their bills be lower. They're also concerned with the environment. Hey, that, that's just the way it is. So energy codes are there. So double pane, triple pane windows, that's the new home. New homes are gonna have nine foot ceilings, 10 foot ceilings, new, new roof, uh, hardy plank siding, right? They're gonna have all of these things that you don't have or you may not have. And so looking to the future, the inventory you're going to be competing against, if you wait, it are going to be newer, newer homes, newer electrical, newer plumbing. And it's going to be hard to beat. Our homes that we live in, that we I'm sitting in right now, they're getting older. They're depreciating. Everything's depreciating. You know, the countertops are going to be dated. The flooring's going to be dated. So I want you to look around your house. What is in good condition now that won't be in good condition in the future? What is in style now that's not going to be in style in the future? Because at some point you will have to replace that. And so I don't know if you want to sell your home now or you want to wait till the future. I just need you to think ahead and think, okay, if we don't sell our home now and we sell it in five years, will the roof need to be replaced? All of these things are things that we can help you with. So we can go through your home, even if you're not going to sell and say, hey, Nick, I might want to sell in five years. In five years, what will I have to replace? right? What will I have to budget for before I sell it, right? Because right now you can sell your home as is pretty much not even touch it. The market's so hard. You don't even have to touch your home. You can just sell it. But in five years, if it's a buyer's market to get your home sold, you might have to do these repairs. I remember five years ago, sellers had to replace carpets. They had to paint the house. They had to replace the roof. They had to do all of these upgrades to compete against new construction because the buyer's looking at two homes going, I can get a brand new home for 300 or I can buy your home for 260, right? It's a $40,000 Delta difference. But if I buy your home, I'm going to have to put 40 into it. So why go through the hassle when I can buy new? That's going to happen again soon, people. And I just want you to be aware of that. So 
that when you sell your home as a function of law, the law of supply and demand, right now supply is super low, but nobody's talking about the supply that's coming around the corner. And that's new energy codes, newer homes with modern amenities. Modern amenities, meaning upgraded appliances, smart homes, smart garage door openers that you can, you can use over the internet. You can check to see if it's up or down. Security systems, right? Tall sliders that slide perfectly, right? Upgraded windows, new HVACs, low energy costs. That's what people are going to be looking for even more so in the future, especially the people from out of the area that appreciate this stuff. All right, y'all. If you need anything, have any real estate questions, and you want any real estate advice, reach out to us. We're always there for you at the Nick McLean Real Estate Group.